let's talk about checklists and some of the ways we can interact with this. I really like the way the G7 checklist can stay up all the time and really not be in our way. After I turn on my bat switches, here we are. This comes up here automatically. I don't have to select anything. Pre-flight inspection. I've got a couple of ways I can go through this. I have a wheel here, and I can wheel through it. Also on that wheel, it's got a, a push function, and when I do that, I get my green checks. I can also use this knob, but right now, blue square, you're there. If I use this knob, I'm just adjusting that. So I want to bring that focus over here using this knob. Click. Here we are. Now I can use this knob as well. I can click it, push it in to get my, my checks, or I can scroll through. Okay. Push again, takes me to the next checklist. If for some reason I get out of sorts on my checklist, I want to go back or I want to go forward, I can just tap checklist, normal procedures, and then scroll to wherever I want to be. I forgot something, I want to go back and look at something again, I can back up or I can move forward with my checklists. My before taxi checklist. Again, I can scroll the wheel, which you might have a hard time seeing. There's a wheel here. I can press the wheel to get the checks. Or once this box is in the blue square, I can use this little knob to either scroll through or check them. So that's a real short course on how you use checklist in Cirrus G7.